EDI versus API. As a business, if you need to be EDI compliant to connect with your trading partner, your two options are EDI and API. EDI or electronic data interchange is an electronic version of business documents. For example, purchase orders, purchase order acknowledgements and invoices. EDI has been around for decades and it is used in all industries for B2B communications. API or application programming interface is a way software systems interact with external software systems. There is a client system that sends a request and a server system that sends a response. API is the way modern applications exchange information. Let's look at some of the technical differences between EDI and API. In EDI, you are sending and receiving a document of business data. The data container is an EDI file. And in API, you are sending the data container using HTTP request and also receiving an HTTP response. EDI uses AS2 or SFTP communication methods, whereas API uses HTTP or HTTPS. The data structure of EDI has standards such as X12, Edifact, and VDA. And API structure can be designed with the help of an API host. And here we have an example of an EDI data. This one line of code is called a segment, which contains elements, which are the data points uh, for the information that has to be exchanged between the two trading parties. And then we have the JSON data, which is containing the same information but in a format that is much more easier to understand. Both EDI and API can be integrated into your system for data exchange, but there are some critical factors that put one over the other as the choice for today's integrations. Let's have a look. The first factor is the ease of integration. EDI integration is complex and slow. EDI structures are difficult to code and are mostly frustrating for developers. On the other hand, API is used in most of our software systems today. API data structures are based on JSON or XML and APIs also provide open source tools that ease the integration process for developers. The next factor is the learning curve. EDI has a steep learning curve that can take a long time to understand and implement. API is easy to grasp, even for new developers or businesses, so they can begin implementation way earlier as compared to working with EDI. Next, we have real-time validations. API make real-time validations possible, which can cut down the time to process compliance requirements while sending and receiving information. EDI hasn't achieved real-time validations due to its rigid infrastructure, which can affect the progress of your business while exchanging data. The fourth factor is the ability to build custom solutions. Since EDI infrastructures are rigid in nature, it is very difficult to add or customize their functions. Whereas API offers a flexible infrastructure to add or nest completely new APIs to customize its functions as you like. And the final factor is the expertise and talent pool. API programmers have a largely available talent pool as API is cutting edge and has ever-expanding applications. 
on the contrary the adi developer pool is shrinking and it will only consume more time and money for businesses to find real experts for their adi integrations in conclusion even though business giants still rely on adi there are several of them going hybrid using api for adi it is best for everyone to complement adi with api today it can be done by building an api layer on top of your existing adi infrastructure visit our insights to learn more about api based adi solutions happy integrations